Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in this video was found on a public domain. Lots of love and many blessings your way. Happy Friday. Let's just jump right on in there. The other day, we were talking about how the Queen had stripped Meghan and Harry of their titles, the house, and $15 million. It really started when the Queen asked them, you know, hey, why did you do that documentary? And doing it's one thing, but the things you said really paint a negative picture of the family. Why would you do that? The Queen has a motto she lives by, never complain and never explain. And that's when they popped off saying they needed a break. They didn't want to have to deal with everything. It's getting overwhelming. We can quit if it's not good enough. And she told them, don't threaten to quit me. You can take your break and make it permanent. Y'all can leave and not come back. You guys, since that all happened, he and Prince Charles had a huge falling out. And you know, this is coming from business times. They're not known to gossip. And now they're saying that Prince Charles had to level with Prince Harry and say, look, you're not even my son. I've known this your entire life. And when Harry asked him, who is my dad? He ignored him. And he literally begged Charles, please tell me who my dad is. And Charles did not tell him. Instead, he turned around and left the room. He did let Harry know this. If at any time he goes public and tells everybody, hey, Harry is not my biological son, Harry and Meghan, they lose everything. Like a lot of y'all out there, I've always heard that it was James Hewitt. And Harry and James do favor and it's said that, you know, for a while, James Hewitt and Harry had a pretty good relationship. In fact, James had a good relationship with Prince William as well, which I always found bizarre. Why would you want to hang out with somebody that your mom cheated on your dad with? It never made sense to me. And then there's people that really think that Harry looks like Prince Philip in Prince Philip's younger days. I am not one of those people. I don't see a thing about Prince Philip that reminds me of Harry, nothing, or vice versa. And the exact same thing goes for Diana's brother. There's those people out there that feel like he and Diana's brother favor a lot. There's one thing about Prince Harry that favors her brother to me, and that's simply the red hair. James Hewitt, in my opinion, has always fit the bill. They know if Prince Charles or anybody in the royal family does spill the beans on this paternity issue, Prince Harry would totally lose everything. I think he would lose everything except what his mom has left him, which is just about as much as he has left anyhow, really. The Queen's taking his allowance. Charles gives them a pretty good amount of money every month. And I was told back in March that that monthly allowance from Charles was cut drastically. So they're basically living on pennies for them. And I think that's why they're hustling so hard trying to make money off of these documentaries. Here's what was told to me yesterday. Oprah is, of course, involved in this documentary that's going to be taking place in Southern California and it's trying to paint them out, Megan and Harry, to be these down-home, down-to-earth people. Prepping her, getting her ready for her newfound political career. You know, by the way, I wanted to say this really fast. It did not even, I knew I'd heard the nickname Bubba somewhere else and being in the South. It just, it goes with the territory. It didn't even hit me until the other day. That Bubba, what they call Archie, oh my God, is Bill Clinton's nickname, Gross. I would never, ever, you heard, a big thank you to Grace. I appreciate you so much. Shared something very imperative to the situation with me. She cannot run for office of any kind 
in the United States due to the Titles of Nobility Amendment of 1810. However, can they run for office if their title has been revoked? And if this is the case, it seems like they're all involved in this in one way or the other. The entire situation seems a little odd to me that she would take their titles all of the sudden. Doesn't this feel kind of shady? Real sketchy. Something to think about, you guys. I'm going to do some digging and I'll let you know what I find. I'll see you guys real soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.